What an honor to be before you. The Nobel Prize. You must know I didn't do it alone. Although, <sighs> research is a lonely business. But I must, I, I must share this with my family, my, my wonderful family, my wife, my, my son. Would you please stand? <laughs> to be honored in your presence is a very humbling experience. Oh, to be in the presence of those scientific ghosts from the past. Darwin. Einstein. scan to take 67 new eggs in a 12-hour frame. Is that right? If gestation periods hold constant, we'll have a new generation by 2,300 hours. Oh, oh we're a little suckers. All right. Up and at him, boy. It might be midnight on Mars. Sure as hell morning here. Maintain steady lightning intervals. Okay. Let's see what we got. Nothing new in 51. Let's go next door. Twenty six W is the same. No population increase there. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. There. Hmm. Wait. Bring up the terrain GIS from last night's sweep. I want a full comparison. All security personnel, organism detected level three. Decontam sector four. Level three? It's on the surface. Number one, intercept and neutralize. Repeat, intercept and neutralize. Neutralize? I've got to get into the ventilation system. But that's a closed system. That, that's impossible. They can't annihilate them. I spent five years with these bugs.
you're in here. Where are you? Nothing wrong with your television. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are now controlling the transmission. We control the horizontal and the vertical. We can deluge you with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal clarity and beyond. We can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. We will control all that you see and hear. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. Some of man's greatest achievements have been motivated by a driving need for love and acceptance. What happens when that need for recognition becomes a desire to be revered and then worshipped like a god? Dave, what the hell was I supposed to do? Simon, that damn thing was practically topside. He got to level three, no, that's hardly topside. topside. That is close enough. I suppose the government suits want a whole new decon routine implemented. No, we never talked about that. They don't want a procedural review, do they? Dave, you know what that would do to the timetable. Simon, they're shutting us down. They're shutting us down. They want huh? the remaining life forms cryoed and transferred immediately to Deep Store in Nevada. And all research consolidated and immediately classified as priority since one. No, they one. can't. It's over. The whole thing's finished. No, they can't do this to me. I created them. They're mine. Well, everyone acknowledges your contributions, Simon. Contributions? I created life. If it weren't for me, you'd still be sitting on a bunch of dried up eggs as dead as, as the rest of the Martian soil brought back by that damn Mars lander. I'm filing a report. Well, there's no one I, left I, to file I, to, Simon. Sit, this sit whole still. thing comes from the President of the United States. I mean, you can't go over then his I'll head. Then I'll the public. Don't talk like that. Don't even joke about it, Simon. An alien organism came within 20 feet of contaminating the Earth's biosphere. The M17 biotics are not just organisms. Do you have any idea what kind of a shit scare that caused in Washington? They're not just organisms, they're intelligent beings. Ah, oh, that's just conjecture. You know it as well as I do. The organism that those idiots incinerated was the latest generation. He learned how to evade the security measures. Don't you know what that means? Yes, but they're very unsafe. And unfortunately, the committee feels the same about you. You're not being reassigned. So, after nine years, you're just gonna fire me, that's it. Look, I'm sorry. What's your next move, Dave? Maybe in a couple of years, you might just uh, resurrect the project, this time with you at the helm? I'm not gonna reward that with a response, Simon. Except to say that any, any breach of security will mark you as a high risk. What's that supposed to mean? Don't find out.
Does that mean you scared me to death? You're home early. Oh, we're in the holding pattern on some tests. You know I don't like you to look at my stuff before it's done. Didn't see a thing. Hmm. So, those are the new windows for the courthouse, huh? Well, they will be if city council approves my design. They'll be lucky to get you. Thank you. Did you see Josh? No. Well, I'm worried about him. Why? Because he spends too much time alone in the dark. So do I. But he's 10. It's not normal. Cheers. Who's normal? You okay? I don't know. Because you seem kind of out of it more than usual. I'm just a little burnt out, that's all. Mm. Your dad's coming for dinner tonight. Oh, wonderful. He called. He wants to see Josh. He's lonely, Simon. Yeah, that's because no one can stand to be around him for more than 15 minutes. Mm. The deadly reign of arachnathoid has begun! Dad, Mom, this stuff looks awesome! Great! When do we get to see it? Not till I add the music and sound effects. Ah. Uh -huh. See, there's the problem. Three perfectionists in one household. Mm. Okay. Good. Make that four. Hi, Grandpa! Hi there, Chip. We got a surprise for you. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Cool! Look what Grandpa got me! Oh, come on. I know, I know, you didn't want me to get him one, but <laughs> the little guy kept eyeing me from the store window. I just couldn't resist him. We gotta talk about this. Tell me that is not a real dog in my living room. You will learn to love him, Cassie. This is a very bad idea. No, it isn't. Every boy should have a dog. But Kathy works, I work, and who's going to take care of him? I mean, get Josh, you no, can't count be on Josh. Great for Josh. You know, help make him more sociable. I love him, Grandpa. What's his name? Well, you're going to have to give him one. Huh? You were saying? <laughs> so, they still working on that, uh, you know, what do you call it? That, uh, that moon rock thing. Uh, no, not moon rocks, Martian soil samples. Brought back by the Mars lander. And you're uh, doing some sort of research on them, right? No, we're studying how Earth life interacts with Martian terrain. <clears throat> uh, it's amazing how the government spends our money these days. Yeah, there's never a good war around when you need one, huh, Colonel? Oh, it's too bad we're not invading someone. That'd be a shot in the arm of the old economy. Oh, Josh. You're not feeding that dog, are you? But he's real hungry, Mom. I know, but your grandpa brought you a big bag of dog food. It's out on the porch. You want to feed him get a handful of that? Come on. So, looks like your present is a big hit. Oh, well, you know, kids and dogs are made for each other. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of that dog that you had when you were a kid, Simon? Cowboy. And he wasn't mine, he was David's. He was? Yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You didn't care much for pets, did you? Uh, but David sure did. Yeah, I remember now. He really suffered when Cowboy died. How did Cowboy die? He uh, dug a hole under the fence, got into some traffic. Well, I sure hope we're not setting Josh up for a trauma like that. Trauma is a part of life. The sooner a boy is introduced to it, the sooner he'll be able to deal with it. Mm. And when David finally came out of his room, a small part of him and become a man. Oh, maybe Josh will get lucky and his dog will get hit by a car. <laughs> Simon? I'll see you later, champ. Bye, Grandpa. Hey. How about this for a name? Cowboy. Cowboy? Huh. Cool. Cowboy! Uh, hey, thanks for that good dinner, Kathy. Oh, it's my pleasure. And you better take some time off for work. You seem a little stressed. Maybe I will.
Get rid of that damn ponytail. Well, he's a grown man, for God's sake. What a guy. I just think he could have handled it better. I've been handling it all my life, Kath. Never changes. I know. But he's your father, and he's old. He's only old when it comes to me. He knew whose dog it was. You think he can't remember where I work? He just loves to piss on what I do. I'm not David. Didn't make the all-star team in Lily. Didn't uh, win any trophies for swimming and football. Didn't become a, an F-4 pilot. Didn't die for my country. Just read my books. Kept to myself. Big disappointment to him. No, I don't think that you are a disappointment. I think he's proud of you. I just... <sighs> Men like him don't know how to express themselves. I don't need his approval. Maybe he's waiting for you to get a Nobel Prize. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Simon says, give me a kiss. Stockley. So why are you here, Simon? I want to supervise the cryo storage. It's not necessary at all. They've got extremely capable personnel working on it. I'm sure they do, but this is my work. If something goes wrong, they're going to point the finger at me, and maybe you. Nothing's going to go wrong, Simon. Dave, if they're going to close the book on my life, at least let me make sure it's done right. Listen, last night, I said some things I didn't mean. Forget it. Just let me do Just this. Just let me do this. All right? Tomorrow I'll be history. Okay. All right. But you just supervise only. Simon, this could mean my ass. Supervise only. Thanks, care of the move 
Dr. Kress, please return to security. Yeah. The lunchbox, please. Simon, I believe you have something belongs to us. Your ID tag. They said you forgot to turn it in. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Now listen, if there's anything you need, Simon, anything at all, don't hesitate to call. You'll be the first. Established visual confirmation of the presence of eggs within the soil. The next stage will be to introduce the embryos into a controlled environment. Viability, of course, depends on fact. Hello, that school's okay? Yeah. Why don't you take Cowboy out back, let him run around for a little while? <laughs> but he could use it after the vet. Just a little downtime with the equipment. I, I didn't want to lose momentum, so I'm doing some of the research at home. Where? In the barn? Yeah. You're joking. No, actually, it's not a bad place to work. You're not doing anything dangerous in there, are you? What are you talking about? How'd the presentation go? It's on Thursday. Today is... Monday. Is that my stained glass? Oh, yeah, I used some of the stuff you were going to throw out to patch up the broken windows. Looks good, huh? Yes, but this is really Don't not worry. what... Relax. I won't give up my day job. The reign of arachnithoid has ended! Long live the Caninosaur! Cowboy! Your career is over! Cowboy! 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 Get it! <laughs>
are you doing in here? I was looking for you. Come on. I need some help with my boots. I don't want you going in there. Why? Because I'm doing some very important work. I don't want to see you in the barn again. Oh. You understand? Why can't I help her? Because you can't, and that's the end of it. I don't want you telling your mom what you saw in there. <clears throat> okay? You hear me? Yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a surprise. Surprise? Yeah. Sure. Okay, go on. Make your movie. Cowboy Tom. You're still my best buddy. You know that, don't you? Afternoon, Simon. Dave! Missed me already, huh? Say that. How's it going? You keeping busy? <sighs> Taking some time off. Doing a little soul searching. Oh, that's good. Good. You know, I'm, uh, I'm doing a little searching myself. What for? A new job? No. 265 grams of Martian soil. <laughs> oh, Dave. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but you're on the wrong planet. 265 grams. That was the discrepancy that the mass comparison analysis found when we transferred the habitat to storage. Maybe one of those crack technicians you hired made off with a souvenir. Well, the agency boys put it down to computation error, but I just think they're in a mad rush to wrap it up as quick as they could. You know, me and my figures, if they don't match up, it just gets me wondering. Guess there's a small part of scientists in me after all. I've always said that, Dave. A very small part. <laughs> Did you steal that soil, Simon? Why the hell would I want to do that? There were eggs in that soil. I get all the eggs I need from the supermarket. Okay, cut the crap and just give me a straight answer. All right, I'll give you one. You got your head up your ass, David. My interest in the project ended when I drove off the compound for the last time. Right. Ain't nothing but a shitty memory to me, Dave. You and the agency. Is that straight enough for you? Yeah. I'm still truly sorry what happened to you, Simon, but you're making it awful tough to stay on the same team. See you, Simon. Entry number seven. I estimate a total of 10 hatchings. I anticipate 30 more within the next 10 hours. The uh, activity within the environment continues to intensify. I'm ready to commence regular feeding. I expect the first mobile will break the surface in uh, a week. I believe that the Sand Kings can attain intelligence. I define this by the ability to, to reason. I can prove this. Son, I told you this is off limits. I know, Dad, but we gotta talk. Give me a few more minutes. I'm right in the middle of something. Then... But how can we be best buddies if we never hang out together? Just let me finish my work. You always say that. It never happens. Buddy. Hey, buddy. Don't walk away, man. Forget that buddy stuff. Josh, son, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. What do you want? I, I want to spend time with you. I, I just... Don't uh... worry about it. Son. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, why? I need you to help me with something. But you're
you're gonna have to do exactly as you're told. Serious business. What are you talking about? How would you like to help me out in the barn? Yes! <laughs> no, the date I've always been working with is Thursday. I... Uh, what? I, nobody ever told me anything except Thursday. I mean... Hello, I guess it doesn't matter much. What they told me is that you need something today. If, you, no. No, it's, uh... It's not a problem, because my husband's here and he can watch my son and... It won't be a full rendering that I would be showing you, um... Right. Okay, well, so I'll be there in, uh, an hour and a half. Great. Bye. Trace him, trace him over there. That's right. Got a good shot there? Yeah, recording. You sure it's in focus? Dad, please. I'm not a tourist. It's important that it's recorded clearly. You handle your worms. I'll handle the All photography. Right. Move the camera up. Give me a close-up. Why? Will you give me a close-up right here? Okay. The organisms will now be given one cube of synthesized protein. They don't seem too interested. What else do they eat? Practically anything. How about Mrs. Thompson's cat? I don't think so. <laughs> now proceeding to the live subject. You sure you want to watch this? Man your camera. share a hive mind. What's that? Well, it means they kind of work together, but they're controlled by one individual, most likely the queen. Like bees and ants? Well, no, 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 the sand kings. <laughs> the sand kings are much more than bees and ants. They're, I think they're smart, like people. I've been testing them. Mom's gonna be home any minute, and I haven't even started dinner. Dad, Mom's not going to be too thrilled with this. Now you let me worry about that. In the meantime... I know. What? It's a secret. Yeah. Good boy. So the city council tentatively approved my design for the windows. Hey. Yes. But they want to see a rendering by Friday. Oh, great, honey. Yeah, congratulations, Mom. Thank you. However, it means I'm going to be really, really busy. Ah, uh, no problem. I got things under control around here. So what did you do in school today? Nothing. Hmm. Sounds educational. How about you? How's it going? Hmm. I got a lot done. I'm keeping a handle on the work. I should be pretty much up to speed when the lab's up and running again. It's lucky how it worked out. You'll be around here this week to keep an eye on Josh. <clears throat> yeah. It's weird how things happen sometimes. Weird, real weird. Really, really weird. Weird.
entry number 17. The Sand Kings have displayed and... They've displayed an ability to mimic terrestrial formations. Now, while this could indicate some form of intellect at work, it does not necessarily demonstrate the ability to reason. So I've decided on a change. Mr. Cress. Yeah. Uh, sign here, please. All the pieces have been pre-cut, right? Yeah, all you gotta do is slap them together. It's gonna be some fish tank, huh? I like my seafood fresh. Well, for what you're paying, I certainly hope you're raising caviar. Great, but this this amber's perfect. Will you order me some? Oh, sure. Must be nice having Simon home. Yeah. You don't seem too happy about it. Uh, take it from me, whether he's at home or at work these days, he's in another world. Well, that's weird. What? The computer won't accept your card. Why? <laughs> it says it's over the limit. Well, no way. It's a screw up. No, I, I ran it through twice. You know, I'm supposed to cut it up. Do you want to call the card company or something? Yeah, I do. I want to know what the hell's okay, going on in there. Let me explain oh, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain, Simon. Explain to me. Explain to me why there are over $25,000 worth of purchases on our credit cards. I got it purchases worked out. that I knew nothing about. Okay. And then when you're done explaining that, try to tell me how you're going to pay for them when we can barely pay for our house. I've got it worked out. Believe me, I wouldn't have done what I did without a reason. No! Kath! Listen to me. Kath. We found them in the sand brought back by the Mars lander. So what? Eggs. No bigger than a pinhead. They've been lying dormant for millions of years till I found the right combination to initiate gestation. So you've been lying to me? Is that what you've been doing up at Mount Carnell and not analyzing soil samples? It was a classified project, oh. Kath, the highest clearance. We couldn't talk to anyone from the outside about it. It wasn't my choice. So what are they doing in my barn? They killed the project, Kath. They killed the project? Why? I wasn't given a reason. I just told her to shut down. Maybe they thought the public would never be ready, I don't know. But on the day I was to leave, I took a sample of the soil. Oh, Simon. Hey, they're not gonna take that well, away Well, they can't me. stay here, they're dangerous. No, they're not. The Sand Kings are intelligent and if they keep evolving at this rate, there's no limit to what we can learn from them. Josh has been recording- Josh! Them. You got Josh mixed up in this? It's perfectly safe. How can it be safe? The government's trying to destroy these same things. They don't understand. Neither do I. 
No! It's a chance to make my mark, Cat. I can announce the discovery of extraterrestrial life. Then announce it now. No. First, I'm taking them to the point of true measured intelligence. Have faith in me, Cat. I want you there with me. Say that. I heard rumors. Well, everything's okay, I promise. But those sand things worry me. Sand kings, Mom. Excuse me. It's just, you know how afraid I am of bugs? Remember that time we're driving and there's this huge spider on the dashboard? It was a daddy long legs. Well, it may have been a daddy long legs, but it nearly made me drive off the road. But I like helping Dad. He said we might win the Nobel Prize. Nobel. I bet you do. Anyway, you promise be careful. Okay. Night, Mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a mess. This is entry 24. This is entry 24, entry. This is entry 24, the eighth day. This is entry 24, the eighth day of the project, the ninth. The Sand Kings of Division. This is entry 24 on the eighth day of the project, the 19th generation. The Sand Kings are differentiated into two distinct species, one red in coloration, the other white. I also, I have uh, I begun to, to distinguish certain individuals among the two species. Uh, they seem to have taken to their new habitat quite nicely, and it's my hope that, uh, that the increase in size of the habitat will stimulate the production of eggs by the two queens. Now, I can verify that theory by the following data. with you. Eat 
Janet. Bill Prize. Words cannot describe my appreciation. What an honor to stand before you, illustrious people. I'd like to thank my wonderful family. Josh, let's go by. Breakfast is on the table. I gotta run. Kathy. I'm late, sorry. Listen to me. I've done it. Go walk. What I was talking about yesterday. Listen, Your listen. voice gone. He wasn't in my room when I woke up. Are you kidding? Did you look under the bed and everywhere? I looked all over. He's probably off chasing squirrels or something. Oh, Kathy, honey, listen to me. Simon, give it a break. There's a crisis. Now, come on, honey. We'll go Kathy. outside. We'll take a look around the neighborhood. Listen, listen to me. Kathy? Kathy! I can go look for the damn dog! I don't believe Josh, I, I got my presentation today. Okay. Maybe your dad will help you before you go to school. See you later. Cowboy! Cowboy! Dave Stockley, please. Simon Crass. I'll hold. survival of the fittest. You only get what I give you. No more manna from heaven. <laughs> Forget it. Design. I didn't get the job. Did you hear me? 
I heard you. We'll just, uh, just have to take out a loan, that's all. Take out a loan? I don't think there's a bank on the planet that's going to give us another loan. Yeah. I would really love to know what goes through your mind. I tell you that a project I've been working on for six months just got rejected and we'll take out a loan. You don't even say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, great. You ready, Mom? Sure, honey. Where are you going? To look for the dog. You remember Cowboy, don't you? Entry 31. Structure is approximately 90 centimeters in height, 120 centimeters in width. Fabricated after the initial damage to the San King Castle. Estimated time for construction, 12 hours. Purpose of the structure is uh, unknown. If you think my face is gonna get you food, you got another thing coming. And you red guys, you better get with the program. Now don't go get in the big head. Preliminary analysis of Sand King Venom reveals the presence of microorganisms. Now, uh, it's unknown what the effect of those, those microorganisms is within the human bloodstream. As a result, the uh, possibility of infection is almost impossible to engage. I mean, to, to gauge. Only time will tell. As, as far as the new constructions are concerned, I can only speculate as to their purpose. Either, either they're uh, an extension of, of the Sand King's ability to to build uh, specific forms, or maybe maybe they're a form of worship. Maybe uh, they uh, are an attempt at, at, at some sort of appeasement. And whether whether this is is an indication of, uh, of intelligence. Oh my god! 
Lorenzo called me Simon. Simon, what are you doing? Simon says. Simon says. Let's play. Simon says. Look behind you. shut himself into the park, and uh, he won't let anyone in, not even Josh. And I, I, it's like we don't even exist when he comes out. I, we barely see him anymore. I don't know. I don't even know who I'm living with anymore. What's he working on now? I can't tell you. What? I just, I can't. What is it you want me to do, Kathy? Well, uh, I thought maybe, maybe you could talk to him. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. You want to know, we hardly agree on anything. Why me? I just, he, you're his father. And I think that deep down that, I think Simon's doing this for you. No, it's, it's, he wants to accomplish something. He wants you to be proud of him. He wants you to feel about him the way you do about his brother. Ah, it's ridiculous. It's the truth. I think that all his life, Simon's been trying to get your approval. I'm sorry, I don't mean to yell at you. It's just... Really, you can see that, can't you? Oh, I don't know about that. And I don't know what my talking to him is going to accomplish either. <laughs> Devastation. Organisms have been denied food for 36 hours. The first conflict erupted 40 minutes ago. Five white mobiles attacked a red. It was dismembered and fed to the white queen. Red retaliation occurred almost instantly. War has been constant. Battle maneuvers are extremely sophisticated, I estimate. Total losses on both sides, 20%. Only the, the strongest and smartest survive. I feel as if the, the organisms could leave the habitat whenever they desired, and yet they stay as if to, to perform for me or uh, to, uh, to, uh, to communicate with me. I know feel that as soon as regular feeding is resumed that there, there will evolve a deepening trust between us. Entry 51, the presence of infection confirmed. I will attempt to retard the spread of the microorganisms with use of conventional antibiotics, but their, their effects are, are greatly in doubt. The experiment has taken on a life of its own. 
continue, regardless of what happens to me. said if I ever needed anything, I should call. However, I think you need me, old buddy. We need each other. We're at a threshold. I can't do this alone. Please come see my surprise tomorrow morning. Indeed. Come alone. You look like hell. Is that why you came here to tell me I look like hell? Came here to talk to you. Talk? Well, not like this, not through this damn door. Can I come in? What is it? Your wife is very worried about you. What did she tell you? that you were working on some sort of a secret project and it was driving you crazy. I'm just working a little harder than usual. Don't talk to her anymore, or to Josh. When she sent you to come here and lecture me about my relationship with my son. Who's crazier, me or her? I had a good relationship with your brother. Yes. What was it, huh? What happened between us? You're not doing this because, I don't know, because you you feel you need to, uh, to prove yourself to me or anything like that, are you? You, th you think I'm doing this for you, you poor old bastard. You think the world revolves around you, don't you? You're sick. David would never have talked to me that way. No, because he was your little puppet, your little soldier. He'd do anything you wanted him to. Marched off to war for you. Even got himself killed for you. Bullshit! What are you talking about? What am I talking about? He came here, Kath. My father came here. Oh, he's worried about you. He was spying on me for you. I thought I could trust you. Trust you? Talking about trust? You're the one who's been lying to your wife. You call yourself my wife. Simon, stop it. You betrayed me. Stop you betrayed it. our Simon. family. Simon, you need some help. All I need is to get you out of my life. All right! Come on, Josh, we gotta go. I'm almost done. Yeah, well, just take what you need. I'm gonna start packing the car. Come on! Okay. Yeah. Want me to see? 
see by your dad. No, no, we're gonna call Daddy from Grandpa's house. Get in the car. Get in the car, Josh. Now. Okay, seatbelt on. Entry 57. Kathy and Josh are gone. Gone over to the enemy. It's just me now. This is quite the hobby you've got going here, Simon. Dave! Got your own little slice of Mars. Sort of brings new meaning to the phrase, mad scientist. <laughs> I expected you tomorrow morning. Yeah, I got your message, and I decided to come a little early. You know I like things to add up. Now they do. These castles, do they serve a purpose? They're used for defense in war. They war? Oh, intricate battles. With a proper motivation, of course. Scarcity of food. How many generations? 33. Did you, uh, did you see the carvings? Yes. Why you? I'm a source of life. God. Oh, it's all right here, Dave. What mankind has dreamt about for, for decades, the, the proof of alien intelligence. Well, I have to admit, Simon, what you have created is truly <coughs> unfathomable, really. It's a shame it's going to have to all disappear. It is. What's happened to you? Have you looked at yourself lately? Have you seen what you look like in the mirror? <laughs> I mean, I don't know it's gonna be harder to clean up, Simon, you or this mess. Simon, with your brilliance, I mean, your genius, how could you create something so dangerous? Listen, I'll do what I can, I promise you. I'll do what I can for you uh, to try and keep you out of jail. Okay? Thanks, Dave. Talking to me, Dave? Ah! 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 I won't say anything. I won't say anything, Simon. You're wrong, Dave. Ah! You're gonna scream.
I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have left him. You had to. You did the right thing. At least for now. He's a good kid, isn't he? The best. Ah, the Nobel Prize. My feelings are indescribable. Well, I'm so honored to be, to be in this company, to be with you. It's the greatest moment of my life. I'm humbled by the presence of this room and, of course, the, the ghosts of the great scientists of the past, Darwin, Einstein. Oh, my God, they're all very humble men. There is someone who could tell you who I am. My brother. But uh, he's he's not here. My father, he he deserves my my gratitude. He helped me. Help me. But he doesn't like my hair, do you? <laughs> no. Well. We'll fix that. I have a surprise for you. Where are you? Where are you? Simon Cress? Yes, sir. So 
sorry to disturb you, but I'm uh, checking up on a Mr. David Stockley. He didn't come home last night, and his wife said he was coming here. I was expecting him. He never showed up. About what time were you expecting him? Around 7. Do you have any idea where Mr. Uh, Stockley may be? No, sir. I'm sorry. I don't. You used to work with Mr. Stockley, am I right? Yes, sir. Uh, Dave, uh, Dave and I have known each other for years. I hope he's okay. He seemed okay last time I saw him. He, he's been under a little stress at, at work, but uh, nothing unusual. You're, you're welcome to look around if you want. Uh... No, I don't think that'll be necessary. I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere, probably with a hangover. Uh, let me know if I can help out, sir. Have a nice day. Yes, sir. Roger. I'm on my way. Time for God to make a second coming. Some things in life that I just don't have any control over. You know what? Cowboy might still turn up. So hang in there, okay? Okay, Grandpa. Yeah. This looks nice and comfy. Help you go. Okay. I really miss Dad. Me too. But you're here. So have good sleep.
Increasingly, modern science pursues powers traditionally reserved for the Almighty. But those who encroach upon the province of the gods realize too late that the price for entrance is destruction. <laughs> 